Hey guys, um, it's me. Figured I would just show off a couple of my retics. Um, last time I did a video, I don't know, an actual video, it's been a while. So um, let me uh, pull out my oldest one, Buttercup. She's almost two years old now. She's almost 11 feet long. Um, she was sold to me as a dwarf. And she is, she's a gentle giant for sure. She is getting pretty long. Um, she's just an absolute sweetheart, though. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, for a normal, she's just gorgeous. Great retic. Um, like I said, I haven't weighed her quite a few months. I think it's possibly been like six, seven months since I weighed her. Last time I weighed her, she weighed in around 20 pounds. Maybe, maybe it wasn't that long ago. Can't really remember, but I know she's grown quite a bit since then. And then I'm going to move on to my little, her I got from Prehistoric Pets. Um, her, now I'm going to move on to my little uh, dwarf, super dwarf male that I got from uh, Reach Out Reptiles. He, he is a, give me one second, let me lock this. He's a uh, Anne Golden Child. Dwarf Super Dwarf Retic. He's got 25% Jampea. Let me get just get a few things out of here. Right and then 25% uh, Kalatoa. And he is mate. He's going pretty two years old in May. So he's like. Just over a year and a half old. He's he's maybe maybe five feet long. Pretty manageable size. Pretty active little guy. I think he's gonna be. Yeah, he went in the shed, so he's gonna be. He went into blue. So he's going to be shedding soon. I might have to do a video after that. But. He's a prey. He's very, very pretty. Um, I know you can't see it, but he's got like some olive green coloration to him. But, uh, yeah, I just figured I'd do a quick update. He'll be two years old May 10th, and it's only like five feet long. Um, just kind of goes to show you different sizes. I would recommend going, if you're going with dwarf, super dwarf retics, I'd go with someone who specializes in them, like Garrett Hartle. Um, because not only does he breed pure locality stuff, he works with morphs, and then on top of that, he um, tries to breed to meet the marketing terms of the uh, dwarf, super dwarf, 
size. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, this is kind of an awkward way to end the video.